2018 Jeep Renegade 4x4. 4x4 parts kind of irrelevant. Just the base model ones, nothing crazy. It's an automatic. It's the uh, specifically 2.4 liter inline four. <clears throat> this video is going to be for someone who just wants to know how to get it done. It's nothing going to be specific. No torque specs, no specifics. It's just what you need to do to get the job done and how to get it done. Oil wise for this specific motor takes, <coughs> excuse me, takes zero W20. You can use whatever brand you want. I just like mobile one. Same thing for the oil filter. You can use whatever brand you want. Just make sure it's compatible with the Jeep. Tool wise, you're gonna need a Phillips, a 13 millimeter, a 10 millimeter, and one of these, let's see if it'll focus. 532s. I'm gonna use a 532 Allen wrench because I don't have those star shaped things. So anyways, let's get to it. See the car? I'm gonna invert it now. That's the front of the car. Now we're underneath the car. So there's the exhaust right there. Go up and then to the left. Let's see, I misplaced it. No, no I didn't. Phillips screw right here. Right in front of the uh, driver's side wheel. Okay, there's gonna be another one on right there. Right there on the opposite side. Cool, let's get that done first. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm going to put the phone down for this. Yeah, that's... I don't know if this is relevant or not, but I, I, I put the uh, Jeep on ramps. You can use a jack and jack stands. I don't know. I just put it on the ramps because I like ramps. Anyways, because Jeep hates you, wants to see you suffer, there is a uh, steel plated skid plate. Nah, to be honest, it's actually really cool that we're going to have to take off. That's why we're taking off the... Uh, Phillips and now these stupid little star things you got one two three four five all along the front of the bumper connects to the front bumper with the allen wrench I mean that wasn't that bad like at all at all actually yeah okay go allen wrench front of the bumper Got a 13 millimeter, one right here, one right here, here, and there. Now, I'm actually really surprised using the uh, Phillips was easy to do. Using the Allen wrench, it was also fairly easy to do. And uh, I just loosened the 13 millimeter and again, fairly easy to do. So, so far I'm actually happy. Once again, really easy. I'm actually surprised, kind of happy too. All right, boys, um, let's see. This is the exhaust right here. That is the right side front wheel. This is the left side front wheel, just so you know where I'm at. Time to uh, open your personal safes or opening, you know, your vault and whatever and get out that special 10 millimeter because that's what we're going to need next. Let's see. Here's a socket. Now, remember, left, right, exhaust. There's one here, one here, here in the back, and Another one here, oh, there you go, here, and then another one right there. So just in case I didn't get that, it's going to be two right here in this uh, left side corner, two here on your right side corner, one right here on the far right, and then one right here on the far left. All right, let's get this done. Okay, once again, I'm actually really happy. Uh, with how easy they're coming out. Um, so far, there's no need for a cheater bar. Uh, also, another thing, kind of irrelevant, also really late to say into the video. If you are just doing an oil change, like, okay, here's the filter. That's the filter. I need to take off the skid plate to get to the filter. I'm doing an oil and filter change. If you are doing just an oil change, there's a convenient little hole right here to the uh, that oil uh, oil drain bolt, which is a 13 millimeter. So if you're just doing an oil change, that's the bolt right there. But if you're changing the oil and filter, sadly, you got to take off the whole skid plate. Another thing, be prepared to catch the skid plate <laughs> because, uh, yeah, once I take off these last two bolts, I'm going to have to catch it. Or maybe someone's going to help me. I don't know. Okay. 
I, I, it's heavy. Bottom line, it, it's it's heavy. Oh my gosh. Let's uh do this now. Oh, and um, I don't know if you're just doing an oil change. I don't know how much oil goes in, but if you're doing an oil and filter change, it's 5.5 quarts. So 5.5 quarts with the uh, filter along, you know, uh, English. 5.5 quarts if you're doing an oil and oil filter change. If you're just doing an oil change, I do not know. Sorry. As I'm sure most of you already know, if you don't know, well, now you know. You take off the uh, oil cap whenever you take off the oil drain bolt so it flows more freely. I don't know, just flows better and faster. Once again, travel under the car. <sighs> now, here's the, here's the exhaust. That's the right wheel, left wheel. Oil filters right here. If it's tight, you know, there's tools for it. Me, I don't have those tools, so I'm just going to manhandle it till it comes out. But, uh, let's get this bolt out first. Once again, I'm going to put the phone down for this. Ta-da. If you don't know how much oil, um... It takes well oh wow that is gross if you don't know how much oil it takes well just measure it with uh, how many quarts come out but at least make sure like your oil is actually uh like check the dipstick make sure there's actually the proper amount of oil and then measure i don't know i feel like that's a little self-explanatory but i'm gonna say it anyways i don't know if it's because of the angle i have it at or what but this is taking forever to drain it's kind of bugging me it's irrelevant but i just felt like adding that in the video we're basically about done so i'm gonna just wipe this okay yeah i'm gonna wipe it and re <sighs> yeah wipe it and rebolt it as i'm wiping it so i'm gonna have to put the phone down for that I got impatient, so I just kind of replugged it. Just uh, snug it, you know. You don't have to do it real tight. Do it too tight, you'll break it. You'll do something. Uh, just make sure it's snug. That's it. Just snug. All right. Let's move the flashlight. Here's the uh, oil filter. Let's just move this right there. Take the oil filter out. Okay, again, I'm going to need two hands, so <laughs> we'll put the phone down. Turns out I'm not so strong, so I cheated by uh, getting a screwdriver and hammering it. And I'm going to use that to uh, as leverage to op you know, open it. <sighs> but first, I'm going to let that drain because I, I spilled some a little bit. I really don't recommend doing it this way. I could have just rented, you know, the part from AutoZone to do it. But, uh, yeah, like, just, if you don't have the tool, rent the tool. If you have the tool, use the tool, because I don't recommend this at all. You could break something. After absolutely destroying your factory oil filter, or at least mine's factory, go ahead and compare it to the new one. Make sure it's the right one, which it is. Cool. Just in case I uh, do have enough and it's not actually 5.5 quarts, I'm going to open this one first instead of this one and pour oil into the um, oil filter. Put oil around the seal so the next time you loosen it, it won't be a bitch like it was this time. And then reinstall it. Yay. When I pulled off the oil filter, I twisted it uh, counterclockwise. When you put it back in, you twist it clockwise. I don't feel like I need to show you. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, but do get some oil, right, after filling it and put it on the rim so it's easier for next time. By the way, irrelevant. Again, at Walmart, they charged me $26 for five quarts, but for one single quart, they charged me $8. <sighs> what? Why? I I'm just hoping five quarts is enough so I can return it, get my money back. Again, irrelevant. I'm wasting time. Let's do this. 
when you're hand tightening it, well, okay, I just said hand tighten it basically. When you're tightening it, just hand tighten it. That gets the job done just fine. Just hand tighten. That's all. Don't go crazy. Skid plates back on. I rebolted everything that needs to be rebolted. I re screwed everything that needs to be re screwed. Um, just snug it. You know, once you start to feel some resistance, just snug it. Don't go crazy and tightening it. And, uh, yeah, that'll do just fine. Now I just need to put oil in the car. It's reading at about right at like five quarts. So I'm just going to jump all the five quarts in here, then take it off the ramp, let it sit, measure the oil through the dipstick. If I need to add more, I got that little one as well. <sighs> Matter of fact, I'm actually just going to end the video here because, I mean, the rest, you just repeat, you know? You just reverse the process. If you can't retrace your steps, we'll just watch the video again and you'll see where what goes where and whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna, it's already, yeah, 11 minutes. That's, no, no, you, you know what to do. You should at least. Congratulations, job's done, blah, blah, blah. Once you put uh, your five quarts in or however much you're putting in, you know, get it off of a ramps or off your, the jack stand. Make sure it's at a level area. Let it sit for a while. Check the oil level. Add if you need to add. If you put too much, well, oh, that sucks. But uh, that's it. Have a great whatever you're having. Day, night. Just have a good one. There you go. Have a good one. Take care and have a good one.